Yo, what is going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the V30.1 release notes. So there's a bunch of stuff to go over. We're going to be going over the side event uh, for March. We're going to be going over some Odin, some Mangog. We're going to be going over the four new champions that are getting buffed. Without further ado, let me just tell you guys that. Uh, which are uh, four champions re are receiving an upgrade. Civil Warrior, The Hood, Massacre or Massacre, however you want to pronounce it and Angela. So they've all received an update. Watch for their champion spotlights, updates for more information. So I made a video on Civil Warrior, which is scheduled to post 15 minutes after this video uploads. So if you guys are interested in learning about Civil Warrior, he's my personal favorite uh, of the four that are getting buffed. I think he's gonna be the best of the four as well. So you should check out that video if you wanna know all about him. But uh, yeah, let's jump into some stuff about March, man. So March has sounded pretty cool. So Sins of the Father, March event quest. He goes by many names and designations. The All Father, ruler of the Nine Realms. You may refer to him as Odin as he has arrived in the contest. Finally, we're getting Papa Odin, man. It's, it's so good to get him in game. I really, really hope he lives up to the expectation and he's just an absolute monster because the cosmic class it's it's either hit or miss man it's so easy to miss in the cosmic class and it's so rare that a champion like really hits like cosmic ghost rider he really hit uh but airwalker just a total airball on that one man like so yeah to celebrate he and the residents of asgard hold a tournament to assess his people's strength while the competition carries on the sound of the eternity alarm ring rings across the battle realm drawing odin's attention away from the tournament the all father must rush to abandon uh to the abandoned palace of asgard to stall the rampage of an ancient and powerful foe the hate-fueled mangog will odin find redemption or will he succumb to his past sins so odin he's cosmic of course, uh, Odin is the king and as uh, of king of Asgard and all father to numerous formidable Asgardian gods. He's also the dad of Thor, Loki, Hela, and Angela uh, in game. So hopefully we see some synergies with those champions. Um, so, however, Odin is the most powerful of the Asgardians, possessing a vast cosmic energy source called the Odin Force. This power is so great that Odin must enter a coma-like state called the Odin Sleep to recover from its overwhelming strength. As protector of the Nine Realms, Odin and his son Thor defend Asgard from threats uh, of otherworldly origins. So I'm really hoping that Odin just buffs Thor uh, through synergies or through something, through a pre-fight like... Uh, Apocalypse does to the mutant, mutant champions with his uh, horseman ability because uh, you know Thor needs to be so much better or I hope we just get a new Thor uh, and then Mangog uh, so Mangog is actually insane so this dude I never heard of him before then I did some research so let's just read what Kabama said so he's missed gonna be mystic so Mangog is the physical manifestation and sum total of a billion billion be a billion billion that's, that's a lot that is a lot uh, a billion billion beings hatred from a race imprisoned through a mystical spell by odin and the norse gods mangog is physically unstoppable and nearly indestructible while he's able to feed on psychic energies such as hate fear and devotion and has claimed he will always exist so long as there's hatred in the world this dude literally sounds like an absolute monster like i am i'm very excited i hope this guy li i hope really hope they both live up to the hype and we get two craziest champions of 2021 man because there's so much potential so excited uh very very excited to see these guys in action so odin's bifrost gauntlet so this is going to be the side event for march so upgrade your challenge. Do you have what it takes to ascend to Godhood? Uh, this latest event allows you to com compete in Odin's Gauntlet Quest to earn a unique resource called Uru, which is what Thor's hammer is made out of. Spend your earned Uru to upgrade your Gauntlet's rewards and difficulty. Can you reach the highest level of the Gauntlet to become a god? There's a title called God Tier. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to get that. Uh, be warned, Summoner. Those who choose to challenge the Gauntlet's highest tiers will put their skills to the test in a way that they have not before. Log in every day to collect a feather from the daily calendar to gain entry to the Gauntlet. Once you're in the quest, you will face a single path uh, challenge with zero energy cost. Fight your way to the end and claim the rewards. 
In there you will find Uru fragments, which you will use in Odin's armory to buy a casket of Ancient Winters, which contains the splendors of Odin's vault and unlocks the next tier of the gauntlet. Keep going until you have met your match. So we're gonna go over the rewards in a little bit uh, for the casket of Ancient Winters, which contain the splendors of Odin's vault. Uh, but quickly, let's talk about what else is coming for March. So prove that you are God tier. They're totally, that's awesome that they're putting that in game. So complete tier 10 of the Bifrost Gauntlet and earn yourself the title of God tier. Uh, Valhalla victories, complete daily vanquishing blow solo events to earn crystal shards, signature stones, and more. An international women's, women's day boss rush. So we're getting another one. And you can see here, these are the champions that are going to be the boss. So we got Tigra, Jubilee, Storm Pyramid X. I think that's Black Widow on the middle left i think og black widow um uh, elsa bloodstone and then sorcerer supreme so i'm very interested to see which six ladies in our community uh are participating this year and very interested to see the challenges and what gets me really excited is let's read the little tidbit here uh test your roster and your skills against this year's international women's day boss rush featuring six bosses designed by six special members of our community this year's boss rush is a serious step up and challenge love to hear that uh, but it's also a serious step up in creativity and rewards. So I'm very interested to see what the rewards are for this bad boy or, or bad girl, I should say. Uh, very interested to see the rewards for that. And it sounds like it's harder, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so four champions getting buffs, like we already talked about. Civil Warrior, The Hood, Massacre, or Massacre, and Angela. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited for those. Like I said, Civil Warrior is my personal favorite. And yeah, I have a full video dedicated to that coming out. Might already be out if you're watching this. A link will be in the top of the description for it, uh, so you guys can, uh, or sorry, in in the in the pinned comment. I'll put in the pinned comment because this video will be uploading first. Uh, so updates tab. A new tab has been added to the special social hub to keep our players better informed with what's going on in game. Information on long running events. Offers will be pinned at this tab for easy reference uh, for their full duration rather than getting lost in your red mail. That's kind of cool. And then we've got a ton of bug fixes and improvements, which. Let's get into so the undo button there fixed an issue where players were unable to undo after traversing an already cleared node angela fixed an issue where the special two would occasionally miss canceling from a heavy attack abyss of legends they updated a description to specify that the unblockable and unstoppable are not affected by ability accuracy professor x fixed an issue where attacks were not classified as psychic attacks and updated his page to reflect that channeling vigilance and surge special cost reduction do not work against psychic shielding now this is a very interesting one both daredevils are getting a buff uh here it's it is technically a buff so daredevil classic and daredevil hell's kitchen these two champions now cannot miss when attacking they just they can't miss um which is very interesting uh ghost uh daredevil classic the hood updated ability description to reflect how these champions interact with psychic and attack so I asked Kabam John, I'm like, wait, so is Ghost not going to be able to phase Daredevil, the Daredevils? And he's like, yeah, Ghost will not be able to phase them anymore. They cannot miss. So that's that's very interesting. Now, I, I get it on one hand, because, like, if an opponent is invisible, you know, Daredevil's blind, so that shouldn't matter. But if an opponent is, like, phasing out of reality, and they're not technically there physically... Then how are you hitting them? Even it doesn't matter if you can see them or not. So, I don't know, but it's cool. I'm uh, just going to have to keep that in mind during legend runs when I'm using Ghost. So I don't go in there with Ghost and get smacked when I'm trying to phase. But yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I think it's overall a good thing for the Daredevils. So Emma Frost, Professor X, and Strife updated attack descriptions indicate attacks that are classed as psychic attacks. Uh, Loki fixed an issue where Loki would not steal and copy prowess buffs. I saw that bug on Twitter a while ago, so yeah, they fixed that. Spider-Ham fixed an issue where the special two pie projectiles would be facing the wrong way as a defender. Uh, the scientific method buff node now fixed an issue where the fury potency was based on the defender's attack rating instead of the attacker. Cosmic Ghost Rider fixed an issue where the third hit of the special two would, would occasionally whiff. I don't think I've ever experienced that, but that's good that they fixed it. Um, and then we got a couple more here. So... Uh, bug fixes and improvements. Uh, blade fixed issue where blade sword and shurikens would clip into the camera during a special three animation. Aegon fixed issue where Aegon would spam uh, on screen callouts. Thor Ragnarok updated the special two boon of the gods that can be active at a single time. Beast fixed issue where he'd lose a fury buff. Uh, Red Goblin fixed issue where the symbiote buff would expire instead of going on a 15 second timer. Manito House of X added icons with the pre fight ability screen. Phoenix, fixed an issue where special one and special two flame hits were considered physical instead of projectile. 
uh, Psycho Man fixed an issue where the block VFX would appear when dashing back. Gameplay fixed an issue where the game would momentarily pause when interacting with the screen during the run-in phase of a fight. That's good. Uh, King Groot fixed an issue where King Groot would not use the Furies from Sasquatch Giant Challenger Synergy to shrug off Spectre. Reduced of Vision Arcus specified some armor shadow reduces ability accuracy. Um, wait, uh, instead of cannot activate. Uh, Six Sense buff fixed an issue where Six Sense was unaffected by ability accuracy. Falcon update pre awakening signature ability description. And Guardian fixed an issue with armor up uh, cooldown was not triggering in certain scenarios. That was a mouthful. So those are all of the bug fixing improvements. Now let's go jump to the side event so I can really show you guys uh, all of what's going on over here. So somewhere over the Bifrost. So how this is gonna work is every day from the long calendar, you're gonna get a feather. With that feather, you can enter the gauntlet. In the gauntlet, you earn Uru. When the event starts, you're gonna get Uru in your mail, and then you use this Uru to uh, purchase caskets. These caskets determine which uh, caliber of the gauntlet you can enter. It's kind of confusing. Um, so yeah, at the start, you're gonna be able to unlock the first four caskets with the mail that you get. Uh, you're gonna get Uru in the mail. And then you have to go through the gauntlet to collect more Uru. So you're gonna be able to start at quest tier five and each clear of the gauntlet is gonna award you nine Uru. So this event sounds like one that you need to do quite a bit. So here's the rewards for the highest quest tiers. The rewards aren't too crazy. The, the main rewards are in purchasing of the caskets to get the splendors of Odin's vault. So let's go take a look at what you get from the caskets. So early on, nothing really too crazy, just low level items. It starts to get decent, I'd say casket six. Uh, we got a legendary hero crystal. We got 2,500 five star shards. We got some tier four basic class catalyst. At casket seven, we got a uh, five star basic. We got some tier two alpha fragments. We got some six star shards. We got three tier four class catalyst crystals. Uh, at uh, casket eight, we got a nexus five star hero crystal, full tier two alpha, 1,500 six star shards. And at casket nine, which is the final casket, this one's pretty stacked, uh, we got three. Tier 5 class catalyst fragment crystals, each worth 2%, 3,000 six star shards, uh, 9,000 tier 5 basic fragment catalyst fragments, uh, and then one five star awakening gem crystal. So it's kind of a lot. Uh, so I made a little uh, sheet of written down of all the rewards. These are all the big rewards for purchasing all the caskets. So yeah, the main th the thing I have bolted is. 5,000 six star shards. That's pretty good for, for a side event. That's a lot of six star shards. It is going to take quite a bit of grinding uh, this out to, to get all of these rewards though. And they said it's going to be a challenge. So it might get pretty hard once you get up to the higher levels of the gauntlet. Uh, but yeah, we're also getting a five star nexus, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I think the five star nexus is pretty cool. If I can get that on legs junior, that'd be pretty exciting probably really want to grind for that uh, but yeah just also just a lot of five star or a lot of six star shards also the faster ranking gem crystals also good for legs junior uh and then there's one million gold as well in total added all of it's like one million like 80k or something like that uh four tier four class catalyst crystals in total uh, but with 30 percent of a tier five basic catalyst uh 13,500 fragments total uh one full tier two alpha and then 25 percent of another uh, and one basic factor crystal and 3,500 five-star shards specifically. So yeah, guys, that's the side event. Um, I guess it's kind of confusing, uh, but uh, yeah, it'll make more sense once we can actually do it. I still don't fully understand it because I, I can't see it. I, I think I got a good idea of how it works though. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that's gonna do it for pretty much everything. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited for March. It's looking like a pretty cool month. Uh, very interested to see the boss rush and test out all the newly buffed champions. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys are most excited for. Is it one of the buffed champions? Do you have them as a six arm maybe? Is it Odin? Is it Mangog? Is it the boss rush? Is it the side event? That's a lot of six star shards. Maybe another shot to go for the six star featured for Cosmic Ghost Rider or Apocalypse or something. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And uh, yeah, that Civil War video should be out if you if you watch this whole thing, it should be posted uh, 
right right now so go go take a look he looks really awesome uh drop a like if you guys enjoy it really does help me out and thank you guys so much for watching peace out have a good one